Hey guys, Sherry Ann Richardson from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, SherryAnnRichardson.com, and welcome to our daily vlog. I have been super busy today. I had originally planned to shoot video today, and um, I didn't sleep well last night, so I decided that um, I'm going to put it off for another day. Procrastinating, I know. Um, I'm good at that. And then, uh, when I get around to doing it, um, it doesn't take me real long. It's, and I get a little stressed. Um, I'm sure some of you guys know exactly what I mean. I have been working on the blogs today. Um, over on SherryAnnRichardson.com, I have a new post up, uh, building blog traffic with an email list. If you are blogging, blogging, running an online business you really need to have an email list and i really encourage you to go over there and check out my article and um speaking of blogging today is the last day to get the bc stack it ends at 11 59 p.m central standard time tomorrow so you don't want to miss out on the stack um, over on Experimental Homesteader, in the sidebar, there is a link. It is an affiliate link, which means I get some money if you click on it and purchase your BC stack. And it's only $27 for over $9,000 worth of product. There's over 65 different courses. And believe me, you do not want to miss this year's stack. Um, speaking of Experimental Homesteader, I have two new blog posts up today. Um, evacuation bag weight recommendations because you don't want to overfill your evacuation bag unless you're doing what I'm doing and mine is really filled because I really wanted to test the zippers, the fabric, the seams, the basic overall construction. Um, but also mine comes apart and there are many smaller bags that can come off of the main one that I can strap to a belt or put on my wrist or I probably won't put it on my wrist but you know what I'm saying I can strap it elsewhere on my body and that way the weight is not all on my back because you don't want to overpack these um, if you do you're going to find out it's going to slow you down and it's going to be a problem in an emergency situation. So go check that article out. Um, also, I have an apple crisp Dutch oven recipe. And I made mine in my oven last night, but I have instructions of how to do this on a barbecue grill or over a campfire for those of you that are looking for those types of recipes. And uh, this is a great uh, dessert bug out recipe. <laughs> I don't know if you're bugging out if you're really going to want a dessert. But if you do, and you have access to the ingredients, this is a really, really great recipe to check out. I did use the Patriot Pantry uh, Maple Grove Oatmeal that I received for free in exchange for my honest review as part of this recipe. And I really love it because the Mylar bags are so lightweight. And the oatmeal was just delicious, and it really added a depth and a little bit of a maple taste to the apple crisp, so it made it really, really good. Um, and lastly, over on Exotic Gardening, I have five quick gardening tips to save you money. Um, most of us that have been gardening for a while may already be familiar with these five tips, but it's always good to have a refresher, and those that have not been gardening so long definitely want to check out this post i also want to remind you of my gardening e-course that is free over there on exotic gardening all you have to do is sign up for the email list so lots of things for you guys to check out and uh see today i hope you will sign up for my email list on one blog or all three uh depending on what your interest is and uh please to my YouTube channel. So, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. Thanks for watching, and have a great night, everybody. I'll see you here tomorrow with another daily vlog.